it's been a wild day. Um, I've gotten a lot done, also dealt with a lot. Um, woke up this morning with an ulcer in my eye, which uh, comes from me wearing contacts. I stopped wearing contacts for a long time. Been wearing glasses for a bit. Uh, decided, eh, I'll give contacts another shot because I do, I do like wearing contacts. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea, so I won't be wearing contacts again for a, probably ever again. Uh, if you if you know what an eye ulcer is, like it is extraordinarily painful, and I hope to God you never experience it. But um, I did go ahead and get some work done on my ThinkPad. I did the USB C power delivery upgrade uh, or modification. So the way it works is you essentially just take out the Lenovo regular um, port at the back and replace it with a USB-C PD trigger module. I'll leave a link to the one that I have purchased and this one comes at 20 volts, which is exactly the setting you need for you know your ThinkPads and most laptops in general. So I highly recommend if you own a ThinkPad T440P, why not go ahead do this upgrade? It's great. I will say if you Google ThinkPad T440P USB-C, you're going to find a blog article by someone and no shade to this guy whatsoever because it was very helpful to have that blog post. Uh, I will say, though, in the blog post, he talks about removing it, um, the actual original charger, is you just stick a flathead screwdriver in on the left and right of the thing and gently nudge it out. And he's like, it takes some time, but it'll eventually come out. I spent like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, um, practically hammering the screw, uh, flathead screwdriver into this port and it did not budge one bit. So, uh, eventually I just resorted to grabbing a drill and like, you'll be seeing pictures on the screen as I talk about this cause I did take pictures as I went, but, um, I ended up drilling the back of the port out and it, that ended up working great. And so I just wired up the USB-C trigger module, which I did actually wired up wrong at first. Um, the way it works is you have two positive wires, red, and you have two negative or ground wires, black, and then there's a white one. And this white one, you need to put a resistor in between the actual um, ground uh, terminals on the USB powered delivery thing uh, and the white wire. The resistor, I believe I got 470 ohm resistors, like a, a big pack of them. Um, you could probably pull a resistor out of something at your house or do the same thing I did, order a pack of them. They're not expensive. Um, plus, you'll have extras around just in case you need them for something else. But um, you, if you mess up and do what I did, which is I wired it to positive, not because, you know, I like misread something or anything. I literally didn't load back up the guide and I was just really sure it was white to positive with the resistor. Um, so uh, luckily nothing blew up, nothing broke, nothing like that. The resistor still worked fine. I didn't have to grab out a new resistor. Uh, I just moved it over to ground. Totally fine. Then the laptop would turn on. So I did get a good scare there. Um, after I got it all working fine um, and tested, I wrapped it up in scotch tape. And I'm not super happy about that. That's just, I didn't want to go grab electrical tape because I was lazy and I didn't have any heat shrink tubing or anything like that at the house. So um, I just grabbed what I knew I had, which was scotch tape. And Yes, it is not something that should be in there long term. It probably won't, but 
uh, for now, it does the job. It keeps everything from shorting out. <clears throat> so I use that and then hot glue to actually secure the uh, power trigger module in the plastic cutout from the original, you know, um, connector. And mind you too, like I, I was pressing, trying to get that connector out so much that I just, I removed the entire cord with all the metal pins and everything that go into the plastic housing. So, but anyway, it all said and done, it, it took probably about two hours, maybe, maybe three hours to get it done just because I wired it up wrong. And so I had to take it out, re-solder a bit. And then, because I had glued it in like an idiot, so I had to cut it out and like get everything out, re-solder everything, put it back together. So three hours if you count all that. But if I had done it right, it would it would have been about two hours. And that's also considering the fact I didn't just drill the thing out because I thought it would come out easy. It it does not. So. I mean, if you want to save yourself a whole bunch of time, stick a screwdriver in there, rip the middle like plastic bit out, shut, take your screwdriver and all the metal pins in there, just push them out the back of the connector as fast as you can. Just, I mean, be as rough, like it doesn't matter that they'll come out. Just push everything out through the back. Um, so you've got your like little cord uh, that you can re-solder up and everything. And then just drill into it if you've got a drill at home like great if you don't help buy one for for this project because trust me having a drill comes in handy all the time so just have one like it, it's worth it so yeah it's a great upgrade i've got a over 12 year old laptop that now charges with usb-c the same way my vr headset does my phone hell most of my headsets controllers like my studio lights charge off of USB-C so like it just it unifies everything it's it's a it's not a super simple upgrade but it's not a really hard upgrade either but it does add a lot of like cool factor to it like not only can you pat yourself on the back cuz you did a you did a soldering job like <clears throat> it it seems really complex, but it's not. Um, for example, um, I'm terrible at soldering, and well, I mean, like I'm I'm good at it in the sense that I will get the job done, but uh, I'm not great at like getting the job right exactly at first. So, like, I connected the positive and ground terminals on the. Um, USB-C board and had to go back and like slowly get rid of the solder in between the terminal connections. So like, trust me, this is something that you can do. You may not get it right the first time and have to like, you know, do your work again, but you're especially, especially if you're like me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about blowing the thing up as long as you know to put positive and negative together and then you can mess up all day on the white wire and it's fine so um, like you're not gonna break anything it may not turn on but you're not gonna break anything and so I'm charging my entire laptop just to prove that it is USB-C I guess I'll I'll go ahead I'll keep the laptop on but um, let me let me take my little stick I'm using here to record and there is the USB-C cord in the back of the laptop and it's going right on over here to that big honking charger right there. Um, I think this was originally for like a like an eight book or something like that. Please excuse the squeaking chair. I know it's horrible, but um, yeah, uh, it, it works great. I believe this one's actually a 65 watt charger. But uh, even with my i7 upgrade, it's charging just fine. So, no complaints. Hope you enjoyed the video, me just talking about my USB-C job on my ThinkPad. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.